It's allocation day at Van Isle Labradoodles. Hi, I'm Claire and we have the 10 puppies from our About Time litter. And today, all of the puppies are going to share the news with their families who they've chosen as their forever families. And to do the allocation and to be fair, we're going to do it like we do all our other videos in birth order. So we'll go through each of the 10 puppies, tell you a little bit about what the families were looking for and why we've selected the particular puppy for them. So Mr. Light Blue Collar is here and he is our firstborn in the litter. He is this beautiful chocolate sable fellow. And Mr. Light Blue is going to be going and living in Victoria on Vancouver Island with the Chouinard family. The Chouinard family was looking for a BFF for their two kids, Sloane and Trey. Thank you for the kisses. They enjoy going for walks, hiking, swimming, and the parents both work from home. And if that situation changes and if there's a day when both parents have to go to their offices in town, then this little handsome fellow will go and spend some time with the in-laws. So we have picked a light blue for the Schwinard family because he is such a playful fellow and he is going to be just great friends for Sloan and Trey. He is a very playful boy. He's also extremely affectionate, loves his cuddles. You saw him giving me a kiss there and just the perfect all-round family dog. He's a bigger boy, so he's great for uh, a nine and a six-year-old. Super smart, so he's going to be easy to train, and he's the type of puppy who's going to relate well to training from the kids as well as the adults. He's also great with other dogs, so that'll be really important when they go on their outings and see their friends and go hiking and boating and swimming. And he's also fine on his own for short periods of time. He has a little bit of independence and that will serve him well if the family has an event that they have to go to when he's a bit older and he can't join them. He's also an excellent communicator. He will be very good at letting everybody know how he's feeling, what he does and doesn't like. So we think that this is just a great fit. So that's Mr. Light Blue off to the Schwinard family in Victoria. Next we have Purple Collar Boy. Hello. There we go. Hi, Puppy. Hello. It's turning you around so everybody can see your beautiful face. Look at this handsome, handsome boy. Purple Collar Boy is going to be joining the Klassen family in Qualicum Beach. Now, the Klassens were looking for a companion for when uh, Mr. Klassen is away fishing and he's gone during the summers. Mom is home during the summers and she works during the winters and dad is home during the winter. So this puppy is going to always have somebody with him. They want to be able to enjoy camping, walking and lots of cuddling with their puppy. And they were looking for a puppy that was a little bit quieter, but not a shy or timid type of puppy. Good with lots of loud sounds like chainsaws and boat engines and other things like that. Great in the car and an independent sort of puppy. So we chose Purple Collar for the Classens. It's Purple, first and foremost, is the sweetest little puppy. He just really is quite a doll. You'll see how he's leaning up against me, constantly kissing, very, very affectionate, and he is going to be a marvelous companion. Yes, you and mom are just going to be the best friends ever. I know it. He's quiet and calm, but he's not in the least bit fearful of anything. And he'll be great with loud noises such as the chainsaws. And because uh, Mr. Purple, along with every puppy in this litter, is in our Head Start program, we will be sure to have our chainsaw out for him to hear, as well as our lawn tractor and everything else that we can think of that's lots of loud so that he's used to all those noises. He wants to be loved more than anything. You'll see that everything he does is all about kissing me, making eye contact with me, just getting all cuddled and picked up and loved. He takes all of his cues from people and he's an excellent dog at being adaptable. So it's going to be really easy for him to go from mom to dad, depending on their work schedules during the year. 
And Mr. Purple is going to be a new friend for two of our Labradoodle puppies who already live in the Kuala Lumpur Beach area, and that's Poppy and Teddy. So we hope that the families will all be able to get together and have some play dates, and we'll have a little mini Kuala Lumpur Beach threesome of Van Isle Labradoodle puppies. So that's Purple off to the classes in Kuala Lumpur Beach. Hello, handsome. There we go. Hello. There we go. Next we have orange collar. Hello. Orange collar is one of the handsome chocolate babies in the litter. Such a good looking fellow, aren't you? And Mr. Orange Collar is going to be joining the Cairns family in Victoria. Now the Cairns family is an adult family and they have some older adult children living with them. So Mr. Orange is going to be a great new friend for those older kids in the family. They enjoy running, hiking, walking, swimming. They wanted a puppy who's going to be nice and easy to train and also a puppy who's going to be respectful of cats. So Mr. Orange, this is another, like purple, very sweet puppy. We have a lot of really sweet temperaments in here and that comes a lot from Mr. Copper as well as MJ. Mr. Copper really is a super, super sweet boy and you can see his personality in a lot of these puppies very strongly. Uh, and Mr. Orange, he will always choose people over everything else. He wants a BFF, and I think he is going to be very happy to find his new BFF, both with mom and dad, but also with the older kids in the family. Uh, yes, a very soft, gentle temperament. So he's going to be very easy for everyone to bond with. Hello! And you can see that strong eye contact and lots of kisses, and sees already upside down for me asking for a tummy rub. He is adventurous though, so he'll be the type of puppy who encourages everybody to get out and do something just a little bit different, to try something new. And he's such a sweet boy with such beautiful good looks that he is going to be the type of puppy that just draws people to you. Even if you're a quieter person yourself and perhaps not so outgoing socially, you will end up engaging with some people just by virtue of having this handsome boy around with you. He's very adaptable and he's going to be able to fit into any sort of situation that, that uh, the family wants to have him enjoying. He's also um, somewhat independent, so he's the type of puppy who is easily able to entertain himself and not requires constant stimulation. He will always be looking for you. He likes to remain within uh, your eyesight, where he can see you is what I mean, um, but he doesn't need you to always be entertaining him. Very sweet dog, just looking for a family to call his own that he can just give all of his love and kisses to. So that's our orange collar boy going to the Cairns family in Victoria. Hey, sweetie. Oh, my goodness, you don't want to go, do you? <laughs> there we go. There we are, sweetheart. Oh, that's a good boy. Next, we have our sweet little black collar girl. This is one of our dolly girls, as I call them, from the litter. And Ms. Black Collar Girl is going to be joining Alex and Patrick, also in Vancouver. Now, what they, Alex and Patrick, this will be their first dog as adults. Uh, Patrick has had dogs when he was younger, but Alex hasn't. And they live in a condo in Vancouver. And this little girl is going to be going to the office with Patrick and also working from his home office. Uh, Patrick has a very nice, flexible schedule. So they were looking for a puppy who was gregarious, kind, respectful, smart, and one that they could trust off leash and had really good on leash skills as well. They love to go walking and camping and they spend a lot of time socializing with friends. So we picked Black Collar Girl for Alex and Patrick as she is a very confident girl. Oh, she's so gregarious. She just has the most outgoing personality. Very, very social dog. She's also, as you can see, another kissy one. She's very quick to learn and she's very interested to know what it is you are trying to communicate to her. She'll stop and she'll look at you and she'll listen and she'll look for cues from you and she'll try her very best to figure out what you're asking her to do and then comply and do it because that is her big goal in life is to make everybody happy. Super strong eye contact and she's always very close to people. 
So she is the type of puppy, if she is off leash, she may walk away from you a bit to explore as she is a bit adventurous and she loves the outdoors. But she's the type of puppy who's always going to be checking back and keeping you within her range of vision. She's not the type of puppy who's going to bound ahead for miles and see what's two miles up the trail. She's the type of puppy who wants to look ahead to some degree, but she'll be looking for Alex and Patrick all the time and sticking close to them, which is just what they asked for, yes. She's a very outdoorsy girl, so she's going to love going camping. And I know Patrick and Alex love to walk on the seawall in Vancouver, one of the most beautiful walks there is. And I expect your walks are going to be quite interrupted, Alex and Patrick, because I anticipate everyone's going to stop you and say, oh my goodness, look at that little dolly girl you have. She's just so cute. She's small, so that's great for the condo and also great for the office. But she has this huge personality and she is a social butterfly. So she will have just a wonderful time meeting all of your friends, Alex and Patrick, and also entertaining everyone at the office. Patrick, you may have to make some new rules about limiting visitation time with Black Collar Girl or nobody will get any work done. This is a fun, affectionate, and willing little girl. And as I said, we call her one of the dollies because she's just so cute. So that's Black Collar Girl going to Alex and Patrick in Vancouver. Hello, sweetie. How are you? Hi. Hello. How are you? This is Gray Collar Boy. And Gray Collar Boy, should we turn you around so you can show your pretty self to everyone? Gray Collar Boy is a bigger boy, so he's quite a bit different from Black Collar Girl. And Gray Collar Boy is going to be joining the Farrell family, and he's going to be living in Victoria. The Farrells have a 10 and 9 year old and they wanted a dog who was athletic and active and outdoors, walking, running, hiking, mountain biking, swimming, all those things are going to be part of Mr. Grey Collar's life. They wanted a dog who was super friendly, really smart, easy to train, and they, uh, their work situation may change after some of the COVID restrictions. So he may end up when he's older having a dog walker during the day or other care situations such as that. So Mr. Gray, we chose him because this is one of the most confident puppies in the, in the litter. He is a natural leader, very active, hugely athletic, and a very outgoing little fellow. He's a perfect fit for two kids to grow up with and he absolutely adores children. And I should have said that with all the other puppies, this litter without exception really is uh, quite fond of children. Uh, there's a couple of puppies who are better with adults and we'll get to them in a bit, but generally speaking, they're all quite fond of children. So he is um, adaptable and that is going to be great for uh, if his if the situation at work changes and he needs to have a dog walker or someone else come in. Yes, thank you for all the kisses. As you can see, he's an affectionate dog too. He's independent um, and that's part of his leadership skills as well. So he's going to be okay for short periods of time at home once he gets older too. If again, there's a family activity that he's not able to attend with everybody. He loves to be active. He's always wanting and asking to go outside to go exploring. He's a great size for activities and for the growing children. And as I said, he's an enormously affectionate, cuddly dog. He's a really just all good, all round family dog. And I think he's going to be very happy with the Farrell family in Victoria. That's great color boy. Hello doll. Hello. Hi. Here you go handsome. Hi. Oh, look at that waggy Tay Tay. This is dark blue color and you can see that she has her tail wagging. Oh, so as soon as I say that, she stops wagging her tail. You, she was wagging her tail. And dark blue is going to be joining the Harpels and she is also going to live in Victoria. And the Harpels were looking for companionship, a calm, affectionate, gentle, and very friendly puppy, social for being able to join Deb in her office, and okay as well um, with working at Deb's home office and going for nice walks with Deb. Mostly this puppy is going to be Deb's companion, right? Oh, yes, you are. Oh, give me a kiss, yes. And the reason we chose dark blue collar for the Harpel family is because she is first and foremost a cuddler 
and affectionate. You can see she is leaning right up against me. She just loves to be right with her people. So Deb, when you're working at home or if you have her at the office with you, she's the type of puppy who is going to want to sit on your feet. She's always liking to have physical contact with people. She's going to be just an outstanding companion. Perfect, perfect personality for what you are looking for. She's very calm, exceptionally gentle, but she is a social puppy. She really enjoys meeting new people and uh, she really is quite outgoing in that respect. She'll be really happy in an office environment. You can see her tails going again. She's just always a happy, upbeat kind of girl. She enjoys meeting other adults. She, now this is a puppy who, although she really in, likes children, she is much better in an adult situation. She does not like fast and sudden movements. So if you were to place her in a family with young children, she'd be miserable. And the children wouldn't enjoy her as much either because who wants a puppy who's not happy with them, right? So she's much more at ease with slower adult movements and an adult environment. And she is very playful. She's also quite adorable and she has some really fun little quirky moves about her. So she's the type of puppy who's going to put a smile on your face. So that's our beautiful dark blue collar girl going to the Harpel family in Victoria. Hey pretty baby. Hi, how's my girl? Hello. Next we have red collar girl. Hey sweetheart. And red collar girl is going to be joining the Patty family and she is going to go and live in Cumberland, up Island. And she will be the first puppy, I believe, that we have who lives in Cumberland. I may be wrong. I think we may have one other one from a couple of years ago, but, but we don't have a lot of uh, puppies in Cumberland. Cumberland is a smaller spot on Vancouver Island, one of our favorite places to visit when we do go up Island. So the Patty family was looking for a companion for the adults in the family, their nine and seven year old children, and Odie, the Labradoodle that already lives with them. So they wanted a dog who was going to be good for playing with the kids, going hiking, paddle boarding, one who is happy, curious, loving, confident and brave, and would be quite happy working in the home office with dad and also going with mom to her office a couple of days a week. And Odie um, is a Labradoodle that didn't come from Van Nile Doodles, so I don't know him personally. But the Patties tell me that Odie, who's uh, six going on seven, he's a little bit shy, he's a little bit anxious, and he has some problems eating. And then uh, the, the Patty's mother-in-law also has a Labradoodle who's five and is actually a brother to Odie. So little red collar girl is going to be the little girly that sets off those boy Labradoodles. So we picked this little angel for the Patty family because she really enjoys lots of company. So she is actually going to be very content to have Odie at home. So that Odie is there and makes her feel confident that, oh, okay, there's a Labradoodle. I'm a Labradoodle, phew, there'll be somebody to show me the ropes. And I also feel that she'll probably help to bring Odie out of his shell a bit. Quite often we find if you have an older dog who's not quite as confident and perhaps a little reclusive, that when they get a puppy, initially they may not have the most friendly welcome for them, but it tends to draw them out of their shells to a good degree. So um, Red Color Girl will probably be quite happy to help Odie develop a little bit more of an outgoing personality and she'll also enjoy visiting with the mother-in-law's dog. She'll think that's great to have two built-in friends. She's a super cuddly puppy, so she's going to enjoy being a really, really tight companion with Pam. And Pam, she's also the type of puppy when you're working, she's going to be wanting to sit on your feet. She's a tactile girl. She loves to be held. She loves to be petted. And she loves to have physical contact with you. She's playful and fun, so that's going to be great for the kids. She's just a nice size for the two kids. They're just the right age for her as well, old enough to understand her and work well with her. And uh, they're, the kids and Red Collar Girl are really going to enjoy growing up together and, and being BFFs for life. She's a clever little girl and she can quickly outthink you. Um, and so it will be important to work with a trainer right from the beginning. Uh, 
to integrate Odie and Red Collar Girl successfully. That will be important. And also to get everybody in the family on the same page and understanding what's necessary when you have a super smart girl, just like Red Collar Girl. So that's Red Collar Girl off to the Patty family in Cumberland. Here we go. Hi, babe. Hi. Hello, Miss Yellow Collar. How are you? Oh, so next we have Yellow Collar Girl. Yellow Collar Girl is this pretty caramel party girl. Hey, what's this? What's that? And Yellow Collar Girl is going to be going to the McRae Lemon family and living in Burnaby. The McRae Lemons were looking for a well-behaved, quiet puppy. They live in a townhouse, so of course barking and a lot of screaming and yelling and complaining is not the type of puppy that's good in a townhouse or a condo environment. They wanted a really chill dog. They like to relax. They really enjoy their downtime when they're not working. And they wanted a puppy who was going to be good for snuggles and also enjoy the outdoor activities that they enjoy, such as camping and hiking. They also need, wanted a puppy who was going to be good off leash so that when they go on some of these hikes, they're able to let her off the leash without worry. And lastly, they wanted a social puppy. Yes, one who enjoys meeting all of their friends. So we chose Yellow Girl for them because Yellow is a very quiet, very calm little girl. She loves to be with people. She is very, very social. And she gets her confidence and her reassurance from being around people. That's something that she very much enjoys. But the quiet the, um, nature that she has will be absolutely ideal for the home office environment. She will be almost invisible in your home when you're working that she'll, she'll be able to entertain herself without any problem whatsoever and she'll understand as well when it's time to go to work and be a little quiet and play with my toys and not have mom and dad always with me. She's also the type of girl who loves to be outside. Uh, she is not crazy about loud sounds. So uh, because she's in the Head Start program, that's something that we'll be working on her with so that she isn't worried about any of those when she goes to her new home. We will also have her um, integrated with um, the type of environment with, which is a townhouse and same for Alex and Patrick um, for the condo environment. Uh, so they'll be used to uh, bigger doors, elevators, and being in situations where there's multiple people coming and going so that they're quite used to that kind of uh, living arrangement. Um, she will love going for walks and hikes, and I think camping is something that she would think was just the cat's meow. I think she would just think that was great fun. As long as she had her people with her and a couple of toys, She's the type of girl as well, um, similar to um, uh, the other party girl, black collar girl. She is always looking to see where you are, strong, strong eye contact. So when you go for a walk, if she's off leash, she is not gonna be the one who runs five miles ahead to see what there is. She's going to want to walk with you and stick close by you. So she'll be great as an off leash dog going forward. She's a, she's a type of girl who uh, will stick to you like glue. Yes, you are a little bit of a gluey girl, aren't you? Yes, one of the dollies. So that's Yellow Collar Girl going to the McRae Lemon family in Burnaby. Next we have our cutesy little Green Collar Girl. Green Collar Girl is going to be going and living with Chabert family in Saanich. Yay! Now the Chabert family, we have two kids, eight and six, two girls. They were looking for a calm, quiet, child tolerant puppy and a puppy who would enjoy being with other dogs and also respect their cat. Loving to be outside, going for walks, going to the beach, doing all of those wonderful Vancouver Island activities we enjoy so much. And eventually, Jacqueline would like to take this little puppy to her job as an elementary teacher and have her work with children who are underachieving in reading and may have some special requirements. And they wanted a puppy who is smart and not a barker, not a barker. So we picked Green Collar Girl for this family because she is just unstoppable fun, unstoppable smiles, happiness, and love. She's an outgoing girl, confident, highly intuitive, and smart as a whip. 
Now that intuition is going to be uh, holding her in good stead for the possibility of working with the children with some special requirements as she will understand intuitively what it is that is needed of her and how to behave differently if necessary. She's the type of girl who will know that when she needs to be very friendly and outgoing with somebody and the type of girl who needs to be more quiet and reserved with somebody who might be a little bit unsure of working with a dog. She absolutely loves kids. She's just crazy about children. She's very quiet. I don't think I've ever heard her speak. She's one of the smaller dogs in the litter and she is smart enough to recognize that the cat will always have ultimate authority in the house and always be the boss in the house. And she'll be quite thrilled if she gets an opportunity to hang out with other dogs, play with other dogs and meet all sorts of people. Uh, green collar girl has a leader personality and that is generally the type of personality that works well for somebody who wants to do some special work with their puppy. So that's our little green collar girl off to join the Chabert family in Saanich. And last but certainly not least is this very handsome chocolate phantom boy, Mr. Tan Collar. Go and show everybody your handsome face. And of course, everybody will be able to figure out by now that this handsome boy is going to live with the Fitterman Dunner family in Vancouver. So this family was looking for a lots of love, companionship, cuddles, going for walks. The family lives in the Southlands area of Vancouver, which is an absolutely beautiful area, and it's an equestrian area. And when I was a little girl growing up, I used to go to Southlands and ride there quite frequently. I had a horse that I leased and took lessons on in Southlands, and my aunt and uncle just lived up the road from Southlands. So it's an area I'm very familiar with. It has absolutely spectacular walks, and it's just one of the more beautiful spots uh, in Vancouver. They also want to be able to take this little fellow for lots of car rides because they do enjoy going to the U.S., going to Palm Springs, and getting away from the rainy season in Vancouver. Uh, they have a home office, so he needs to be able to work in the home office easily and understand when it's time to do business. And they wanted a puppy who was curious, friendly, outgoing, and strong. Now, Mr. Tan Collar Boy, he is a confident puppy and he does have a bold personality. So I think that really fits the bill for having a puppy who is strong. But he's not an aggressive or outgoing type of dog in any way whatsoever. He has more of that quiet inner strength that you'll see. He loves to be snuggled and he loves to give affection. You can see right now he's completely relaxed and just enjoying his little back rub here and thinking, oh, I hope this never ends. He'll be um, lovely and calm and quiet for the home office environment. He too is the type of puppy who is able to entertain himself and keep himself occupied and realize when it's time for work. And we will also be doing that with him in Head Start, won't we? Yes, we will. Uh, he's an adaptable guy too, so he'll settle in for those longer car rides. And that's also something we'll do in our Head Start program, is we'll take him for slightly longer car rides, so he's used to those uh, longer distances and get him settled in with that. And I'm pretty sure he's going to be fine around horses. He doesn't have any concerns about anything. He doesn't get fussed about stuff, do you? Don't, don't get fussed. No, you don't. You got a kiss? Oh, no, no, kiss right now. Okay. And he too has um, something of a leader personality. So you'll find he's very intuitive. Uh, and again, able to understand if he's meeting different people, what the appropriate response is for those people. Super smart puppy, so he's really going to enjoy his training time and uh, just the type of puppy who really strives to understand what it is you're asking of him and, and comply with those wishes. So that is all the puppies from the litter. That's all 10 of them. That's quite a lot to go through. I could just keep them if you want. And we will sign off because that's lots of information and lots of fun. We won't try and talk to you about anything else today because I know you're all processing the news, but do take some time. Please let us know what the name is for your dog as soon as you know what it is so we can start using it in our Head Start program. And congratulations to all of you. We're so delighted to be able to let you know which puppy is yours and also for the puppies to know. Thanks so much for watching.